Welcome everyone. Today we're going to have a look at an amazing daily method to farm for a lot of gold. And trust me, you can get over 800 gold if you do this correctly. So what we're farming is going to be Star's Breath and also we're going to farm those pouches. Notice they sell for like 190, they sell for like 370 and also here they sell for like 500. And let me show you some of the recording of me farming those and how you can farm those each day after getting over level 50. So here you can see this is one of the videos on me and my friend farming one of those secret treasure maps and this is the one of the rarest ones. I'll show you guys what we looted and over here you can see we looted two of those purple pouches and they sell for over 500 gold each. So between the three of us we looted six of them. Now I do want to warn you guys it is best to do this with four people because each of the players can get a reward. So if four people do this together, they can get over 4,000 gold together on this run, together with tons of Star Breaths, which sells for like, you know, 20, 30 gold each. So this run for me made over 1,000 gold. And now is how we can do this in the game. So this is some of the things my friend shared with me because I'm quite new to the game. And I think this is amazing. So if you come over here to the calendar, and what you can see is each of the days there's something special that we can do. Starting on the 12th, there is Chaos Gate, and that's what we wanted to do. So Chaos Gate is what we can farm the treasure maps for the maps I want. So on the 12th, on the 13th, on the 14th. So as you can see, on the 14th, on the 15th, we have Chaos Gate, and later there's no Chaos Gate. So on the days when you have Chaos Gate, it is very important for us to do the Chaos Gate. So in case you guys are not sure how to do those, so what you can do is you can search for Chaos Gate on your map and those who appear in North Van, I believe this is after level 50 and this is about 302 or around 300 for the gear score level. After that, the 460 that is you know, required is at Rodendale. We're doing the 460 ones. So what you guys should do is check the Canada time and make sure the Canada time is correct. You can also use the little reminder here we can also use the reminder on the top side. So this is the reminder I turned off because I had no idea what they're doing. So what you can do is you can set the time for the chaos gate and make sure it reminds you on the time you can do the chaos gate. So once you see the chaos gate, this will appear on the in the game. And I believe this one was at and for the chaos guy we did for 460 gear score it is at Rodendale and you come to the Ellenson's shade and it's located around this part so let me take you guys to the replays over here I'll quickly show you guys what happens players will be lining up here there's a lot of players and this is really popular so here I'm checking the time and once you get into the gate there's a bunch of players you're doing co-op and just fighting monsters just stay alive you just do a little damage to the monster and you loot the items and you just you know you don't have to do much there's so many players right the best part is you can keep going and once you get to the boss notice that we are killing the boss the boss does a bit of damage so make sure you know you don't want to die but you know it's really fun to play what you want to notice is by doing this case that there's two ways to get gold one is with a treasure map over here now there are three kinds of treasure maps so one is blue one is purple and one is golden and the boss also have a bidding system that you can bid for the golden treasure maps. And what you're going to see here is a lot of players are going to bid a lot of gold to it. So everyone participated can bid and pay for this map. But this map itself is the one we got over 1,000 gold for each of the players. So ideally, this item will go for over you know 1,000 gold because each player can make 1,000 gold by farming this map. And four players, you can get over 4,000 gold. And this is why you can see over here, players can bid a lot of gold on it. And I think for my rate, for this round, players were bidding over, I think, 1,500, yeah, 1,400 gold, or 1,300 gold. And my friend, their rate, they bid it over 1,600 gold. Because this map actually makes over 4,000 gold if you do with four players. And coming back to the auction house, so those treasure maps, the blue ones, the purple ones, and also the golden ones, they all drops a guarantee of the pouches. So the blue ones drops the green pouch, which sells for about 180 gold. The purple one drops a blue pouch, which sells about 360 gold. And finally, the golden one sell, drops, I think, two of the purple pouches, which sells for over 500 gold. And those, this particular chaos gate happens every day. You can only do one with one rooster. So your whole account can only do this once. And everyone's doing this after reaching level 50, after getting to 460. And, you know, if you're only at level 50, you can do this at Vern's Castle. After getting to 460, you can come over to Rodendale. 
and I strongly recommend you guys do this because you can easily farm over 800 gold if you do this with four players and each of the players share the map with you. So what my friends and I do is we only have three person and we're looking for one more person. If you guys want to join us, we're currently on Vaulten. And if you want to join us, you know, send me a message or we'll party up or share the maps. So with four players, you can get 200 gold per map. And the four of you will guarantee four maps and you get at least 800 gold per night if you do this properly. Oh, it's night for me. So yeah, this is amazing. Notice I have over 2,700 gold and I did this twice over the, you know, the past two days. And we didn't do the maps until yesterday. That's why I only realized how good this is until yesterday. And I wanted to make the video for you guys today. And this is amazing, amazing farm. And this can incredibly boost your speed after you have so much gold. You can buy the materials, you can buy the radar materials, anything you want to buy, you can purchase them. And this help you progress through the game so much faster. So make sure if you guys are doing maps, try to find a party of four players. Don't do like us, only three players, because you're losing efficiency because the maps actually give reward for all four players per map used. So there you can share the maps with your friends and you can go for the maps. And this gives a lot of gold. Like it's, it's quite amazing. So it takes less than a minute or two to do those maps. And let me, <laughs> we already killed the boss. So notice how here we're killing one of the blue maps and we got one of the green pouches that sells for 180 gold. Just to give you guys a quick summary because I think I was going everywhere. So what we're doing is we're farming the Mooth Breast and also we're farming the pouches for the Live Shot. And to do this, first you want to check the calendar for the days that you can do the Chaos Gate. And there are days you can do the Chaos Gate. And once you see the Chaos Gate there, you can also check the time for the Chaos Gate. And then you can go here on the reminder. The reminder will remind you when the Chaos Gate comes available. But you should, you should ideally arrive the Chaos Gate a little earlier. And once you arrive, so let's say if you level 50 and you don't have 460 gear score, come to Northwind to do the Chaos Gate. If you be on level, you know, gear level 460, come to Roland down to do the Chaos Gate. Check on the map before, because the Chaos Gate will appear a little before. Search on the map to see where you can find the Chaos Gate. And this will, I think this will happen at least half hour before. Make sure you get there a few minutes earlier and line up with the players. Once it starts, get in there and, you know, So here you can see me lining up and there's a lot of players. Once it starts, gets in there and just do the boss. And you know, once you do the boss, you loot the items. And then the bigger thing is once you have the maps, make sure you have a party of four players and everyone's willing to share the map. Because not everyone have the same map, but everyone can get a town gold if you do this with four players. And I will be looking for one more player for the next party as well. So I know it's amazing gold. I just want to share with you guys. So happy, right? So looking for more things. And before I finish, I want to show you guys what I'll do for the next video. I have managed to get all my gears to plus 15 now. There are some really good tricks and methods to guarantee you save the most gold and pretty much have the highest chance of getting your items to plus 15. I will share this with the next video I'll make for you guys. And this is how to get to gear level 600. Quite excited to share this with you guys. I was only able to do this because I got so much gold farming the Chaos Gate and also other methods where I'll share with you guys. One is with making odds, one is with trading, one is with marketplace. So I'll share those with you guys very soon as well.